Hi, this is Joseph. I'm going to show you a bare bones way of doing a gray water system. It's very simple, it's easy to do. Basically, this is the filter system itself. The filter will, is connected to the laundry, to this pipe right here. This is your laundry discharge hose, and it flows into this filter box, which you do make it yourself. Instructions are on the website. And that is a filter. I put a brick in there just so that the water hose won't bounce around too much. But when it gets fully covered, this is what it looks like. And you just throw it out and put another one in. That blue filter is the same type of filter you use in a fish pond or even in a, your air conditioning unit. That's basically what it is. It's air conditioning filter just cuts to size. And then this is two trays on top of each other. Bottom top tray is where the filter sits with a bunch of small holes and it's smaller. And then the larger tray is where to catch all the surge of the water coming through. It goes in, got the pipe, and it goes out to the yard. So let's go talk, let's go look at it downstairs and see how it's actually connected to the laundry. And it's really, literally, the discharge hose of the laundry coming out the hole right here that I drilled. Um, you're gonna need a masonry bit to drill that hole. Just remember that. Okay, so here's the discharge of the, of the laundry, just going straight up and out that hole where we pointed out earlier. I should probably cock that up a little bit, but anyway, it's literally the hose from the back of your laundry machine going up. This is a front load machine. We're using traditional Tide. Everybody always asks me, well, what type of detergent do I need? We find that Tide is actually fairly good for the system because it has lots of factants and allows the water to spread out really evenly into the yard within the soil structure. Now, on the website, we'll show you how to build that filter, how to connect everything together, and then how to use the aquifer pipe. That's really the key if you want to grow grass or be able to distribute it within a drought tolerant landscape is the main product is the aquifer pipe. It's a subsurface pipe that sits 12 inches below the ground and creates a moisture plume where the plants feed from. Not the pipe itself, but they feed from the moisture plume. Okay, now we're gonna to go to the office and look at some of the pipes, the actual pipe, so you can see the special design of the aquifer pipe and how it operates. So this is the aquifer pipe. It's basically a special ABS pipe. It's concave and the gray water flows through these center channels or these side channels. And then we drill holes every 12 inches along the edge here on both sides. And what happens is that the water flows into this middle channel and creates a saturated zone. That saturated zone then allows it to have a, a plume, a, a moisture plume. And that moisture plume is where the plants feed from. So the, that moisture plume can go four feet on each side and can go as high as 22 inches in tall. So you can see that the plants have plenty of area to, to get the moisture from. These pipes come in in 10 foot lengths and we sell them with couplers and also a special insert. That's the main key with our irrigation system, our gray water irrigation system, is the aquifer pipe that makes it work. Thank you. Click on the description below to find out where to buy the products. We also have links to instructions to how to build a gray water system. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. We would also love to hear your questions and also share how you prevent climate change. Put those in the comment section as well.